Hey everyone, this is Yvette Hampton. Welcome back to part two of my um, mine and Abby's Q and A uh, for this week. Right? Yay! Part Yay! Two. Q so and A. Fun. More Q and As. More Q and As. We love, love, love doing this with you guys. We love getting questions, and we love being able to encourage you in this way, um, and just see where your hearts are see how we can I mean we're here to serve you <laughs> yes and um, we hope our our greatest our greatest hope is that in every answer every A to your Q we're pointing you back to the Lord and pointing you back to his word um, yes. that that's our heart for the whole thing is to say my homeschool looks different but we're going to point you to the to the orchestrator of it all that's right that's right all right so let's jump into um our next question and this one says how do I homeschool my son age 11 who's uncooperative. He fights me on everything and I'm feeling so defeated and overwhelmed. Um, you want to jump on this? Ab? Yes. Okay. I read this and immediately two things came to my mind. Age 11, I feel like everything changes. I feel like at that 11 year old age, there is a shift. And you know what? I don't, I, I thought that. And then I found, I'm going to give you some resources. I found this amazing book. I don't know if um, you're listening. I'm going to tell you. It's called No Longer Little, Parenting Tweens with Grace and Hope. And it's by Hal and Melanie Young. Mm. Um, and this book really gave me insight. It's not just boys. It's also girls. There's a lot going on in an 11-year-old, a lot going on. And you're not alone, Mama, who says this. Um, I think that this is a common thing. So I would suggest get this book. It really helps navigate through some of those tumultuous years and the confusion that they're feeling and often that mm -hmm. that comes out in what you said is uncooperative they fight mm -hmm. you on everything that is just kind of a result of where they're at and it gives you a lot of good tips and pointers the other one is this book called um, mother and son i would suggest it's called the respect effect and it talks about how around that age 11 you know you've babied your son he's been your baby i have a son and it's the same it's the same way they're your little baby and you hold them and you snuggle them and they do whatever mama says because you're mama. And then they hit this certain age where they're starting to become men. And in their nature, they uh, they don't want to be told what to do by, <laughs> by you. <laughs> yep. And so there is this new dance that you're going to have to dance on being his authority and his mm -hmm. teacher. But at the same time, understanding that he's coming into a manhood and he is naturally learning to assert himself in a new way. And your mm -hmm. relationship with your son, which is very unlike daughters, it's not like that with daughters. Um, it's very different with sons. Um, your relationship very much shifts at that season. So both of those books are going to give you, and I, I could say it on here, but they've said it much better. That's why they wrote books on it, <laughs> on how to deal with sons at age 11 who seem uncooperative and seem like they're fighting you on everything. Um, and that you are, it says, feeling defeated and overwhelmed. So we want you to know that we're praying for you. You're not alone. Yeah. This is normal. But there are answers out there. So it's just going to be a shift with a son to understand how you're going to relate to him differently in this season and moving forward. Yeah, I am so glad you could answer that because I have a family of all girls. I come from a family <laughs> of girls. I only have daughters and five nieces. Um, and so it's hard for me to, to even wrap my mind around right. what it's like to homeschool a son. Um, yeah. you know, cause they, they really are, God made them male and female. They're yes, very different. <laughs> but I Imagine would say that. too, for those with daughters, this one, the no longer little book, it talks mm -hmm. about daughters too, because they go through a shift at 11 too. The, yes. Oh my oh, yes. goodness. Do they Hormones, go through Hormones. Oh yes. goodness. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's not just sons, but there is something different about sons. So I, yeah. I cannot recommend that book. Yes. Yes. Okay. We will, we will link to that um, in the show notes as well. And thank you for that. So let's take a quick break and we'll be back in a minute. 